In this video, we're gonna review Savage Gears 3D TPE Shrimp. These things are absolutely dynamite on Mangrove Jack and Barramundi, and there's a whole heap of ways that you can fish these things. I just love them. Let's take a quick look at the design, and then I'm gonna show you how I like to fish it. So it's a 12 and a half centimeter, yeah, five inch, 15 gram slow sinking shrimp pattern. And that's the packet that you're looking for. You can get them from, I think they're from BCF, like it's BCF's brand. You can get them at BCF and they've just got such a realistic profile and action on them. I just love it. They've got like a Kevlar matting that you might be able to see there that holds the tail together because the tail's really loosely put together. Um, obviously like a soft plastic and beautiful shrimp profile as, it's, as it sits in the water. It's a beautiful shrimp profile with those little feelers out the front and then those little legs underneath. I'll just sort of fix them up. And those little legs underneath, when you're dragging it through the water, even at the slowest speed, they get going and just look so realistic, like a little crawling shrimp's legs. And then you might see it's got a little boot in the tail there, and that just helps to get that waving action of the tail as you're bringing it through. They're rigged on an EWG weedless hook, and these things are basically like my favorite skip casting hook, the hooks that come on these things. Um, I'll see if I've got one here that I can show you. Yeah, there's one there. Initially, I just used to buy these shrimp just for the hooks, but they're a fantastic lure, and one of my good mates, John Welsh, who catches plenty of mangrove jack, he loves throwing these things as well. So you can see the weight there, and then the weedless rigged setup like that means that you can throw these lures in and around heavy cover, and you're not gonna get snagged up very often. And then what happens is it's, it's very loosely rigged on that hook. The hook sort of sits up like that. It's hidden. When the jack grabs it, it presses it down and exposes that hook and away you go. So they're a fantastic design and beautifully re realistic. They've got great colour patterns in them. Let me show you. There's even another one here that I've got that's like a full glow. That's like a glow in the dark model and just very realistic. You've just got to watch, like you might be able to see in the heat, those little legs can start to distort and sort of mold out. So I tend to try and keep the packets that they come in. And that gives you a chance just to get the most out of your, the most out of your lure and just give it a longer life. Otherwise, these things start to like break off and you know, just weld themselves onto the side of that plastic there and you end up just throwing them out. So it's much better just to keep them in that little plastic pack that they come in. And it's got a spot to sit those legs down so nothing really, even a spot for those feelers to sit, so that nothing really ends up, you know, going sideways on you. And that's the way that you want to sit it in you. I just use like my Sistema packets, the plastic packs. All right, we're drifting past too much good cover. I want to fish this thing and show you how I like to do it. So I'm running it on, it, it, it really depends on what you like to do. You don't have to run it on a heavy bait casting setup. That's all I'm using because I'm fishing heavy cover and I want to be able to rip these, these jacks out when they take off. I want to be able to put some herd on them. So I'm fishing an eight to 10 kilos, five foot six bait casting setup um, with 20 pound braid and fluorocarbon leader of 20 pound. And a setup like this, it gives me the, the casting accuracy that I'm after as well. But one of the best things you can do with these things is skip cast them using a little setup like a, my Bass Raider setup, little five foot 10, three to six kilo Bass Raider by Shimano. They're fantastic for skip casting. And you can definitely do it with these little weedlessly rigged setups. So like I said, the weedlessly rigged setup allows you to just let this shrimp go down and get into the cover. And that's the best part about it. You can fish heavy cover super aggressively like glory shotting right into you know crazy stupid cover where the jacks live and it gives you a shot with a super realistic presentation that you can fish really slow and that's how i love to fish these things is just real slow so sections like this like i don't know you probably can't pick this up with the gopro footage but in the bank there there's heaps of holes there's tons of holes and this is where the shrimp live they live in the mud and on the mangrove banks. So I've got mangrove line bank here, undercut muddy bank here. This is like shrimpville. So you're presenting a super realistic bait that the jacks are used to seeing and eating and they love them. And then the way that you do it is you're chucking it in 
and you're just letting it sink down the batter of the bank. Even if you want to watch it all the way down until you see that the, the line goes slack. So, you know, you cast it in and then you just, you're paying attention to it. You're pointing your rod tip at your line where your lure is. So you don't get a big bow in the line because that'll wreck your hook up, right? And every now and again, you just sort of half turn your rod, tink, tink. And that just sort of lifts it up, lifts it up in like a little hopping shrimp sort of a thing just to try and get that that interest from the jack. If he's watching it and he thinks it's getting away or it's scooting off, it can trigger a strike like that. When you've got these little legs, and I said before, they can get caught up, I just adjust them anytime they're getting like crossed over the EWG hook. I'll just keep fixing those up so that they're working really well and crawling down in the water column. And so bringing these ones in, you kind of want to keep a little bit of tension like that. And that'll keep the bow out of your line, but it keeps the crawling legs going as well. And it's just one of the, the tiny little actions that make a difference with this lure. Because it's a, you know, it's very little resistance, there's no diving bib or, you know, it's, it's not vibing, you don't have that real aggressive action that's pulling jacks in away from their snag. You're basically just presenting a picture to the fish and the tiny action of those legs, whatever you can get, you want to be using that. So don't let the legs cross over or, you know, even if they start to warp. These things are like, you can get them for like five bucks at times at BCF. So as soon as they start to warp and they're not sitting right or the legs had gone on them, just, you can just replace them. A lot of Savage gear is like that because it's so cheap. That it's not worth persisting with something that's broken, had the tail bitten off. You just want to, you want to fish it straight out of the packet as it comes. And I've got a super heavy drag for this because as soon as they grab it, they're in the cover a lot of the time. And even like brush laydowns and that, something like that, five bucks, you just peg it in on top of it, see what happens. And you're not worried, you're not, you're not losing a $25 shrimp lure, you know? or a diving lure that you're sort of, you're trying to baby, you can't fish like that for jacks. Having something cheap like this, just nasty, that you can just throw into carnage and like full gnarly country, it's a great option to have with you. Especially if the fishing's slower, you know, and it's, it's, it's making it a little bit harder. As the sun goes up, the day changes, you want to be getting right down in front of that jack's face because he's not moving very far anymore. He's not out on the patrol like he is early morning, late afternoon and at night. You have to land this thing on the jack's nose. So you can see the way I'm fishing it, just little half turns or little, you can do a little tip tip of your rod, but you're not sort of like lifting it up and that sort of thing. Um, through the water column, you're trying to keep it as close as you can get it to that cover and just leave it in there with tiny little actions that just might annoy the, annoy the jack or just turn it on enough to see it and come grab it. I'm full drifting with the tide, like barely using any motor. Paddle's sitting in the, in the stowaway paddle spot and that's because I don't want to spook any bait along the edge trying to be as stealthy as I can so these jacks don't know that I'm here. Constantly watching the line. And generally it's just that first meter or so of the, of the actual retrieve right in against cover where you're gonna get hit. You know, you might pull a random trevally every now and then as you're ripping it back, but what you wanna be doing is get as, as many casts with this with this shrimp as you can in against cover. Now there's another shrimp that Savage Gear have brought out. This is called the, um, it's not called a manic shrimp is it? It's a hybrid shrimp. So they've got a manic shrimp similar to this TPE shrimp but it doesn't have the boot on the back. And then they've got this hybrid shrimp as well which is like a hard bodied lure with soft legs. And they're fantastic too if you can get your hands on them. They all work. Uh, but this one with these crazy, you know, feelers and legs and super loose tail with the boot, this would be the pick of them. You can fish a high rod tip too. If you're watching, you know, skipping prawns, 
and shrimp getting you know chased out of the bank or back into the bank you can skip cast these things into the bank and then just high rod tip it and almost use it like a skipping prawn across the surface I'll show you that one just muffed up because it's so loosely hooked in here like there's a big hole for the for the hook to go in Let's see if I can show you this is the kind of cover that you want to do it in you can see like full overhang you can't get any other lures in there you skip your little TPE shrimp in and then you can sort of bring it back right near the surface like that super effective and I've, I've used that technique heaps with shrimp lures like there's a section in my uh, DVD the jack guide where I do that just under the surface oh there's, look at that it's getting a follow now just see that brim boom just hit it they love that even the little, you know, if the baby, baby shrimp is, uh, if a baby brim is just ha is hammering that thing on the way out, that's almost the same size, you know it's a decent lure. A pretty realistic representation of the shrimp if that's what's happening. Oh, this is too good a country not to fish. Look at this. So that just gives it a bit more disturbance, a little bit more action. The other thing is, like, if you see crab pots, there's a crab pot here. Often the jacks will hang around a crab pot like that, or little drains like that. The entrance to those little drains, super effective spots to go chasing, chasing jacks, trevally, big brim with these shrimp. Even barra, like barra, love these shrimp presentations as well. These pneumatophore roots, they're just they're a punish with diving lures too. Like, you really have to be running a, a weedless setup like this to be able to fish along these slow sloping pneumatophore root beds and uh, a lot of jacks will just sit on the edge or the drop off underneath the you know if the, if the leaves are in the water they'll sit underneath those leaves and just wait for bait to come past so a lot of people don't fish these areas because they're so snaggy you got a, a snag or weedless setup like this shrimp you can definitely get in there all day long and enjoy really good fishing all right, well, I hope you've got something out of this review and uh, maybe you'll go and get yourself some shrimp imitations. They're really effective. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe. I've got loads more reviews coming all the time. Little vlog style adventure fishing videos. There's heaps coming this season. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.